guys, it's Kate. Welcome to Corporate Into a Narcissist 101. Thank you for joining me. Help and subscribe. Please do. Four things you should not be discussing with the Corporate Narcissist. Four kinds of conversation, types of conversation you should not be having with the Corporate Narcissist. One of them is your future plans with the children. Your plans with the children. You're planning to go to Disneyland. You're planning to go to uh, the park. You're planning to go to school. You plan if, don't, don't talk about it. <laughs> Don't talk about it. Don't discuss anything in, in regards to your plans with the corporate narcissist. Why? If there's any way that these children will be um, exposed to them before you go to that, or there's somehow there's plan that involves them somewhere in there, um, yeah, best believe that they're going to find a way to throw a wrench in that. You know, so that's why you don't put anything out there of what you're planning to do with the children, um, when you're planning to do it. Uh, so even if you talk about it, don't ever mention exactly what it is is happening. As a matter of fact, I say don't even talk about it. I don't, <laughs> you know. So whatever it is, and they somehow they're gonna have the children that day or the day before, whatever. Something will happen where that they're gonna try to see. They're gonna try to see. They're gonna mess up that plan. So yeah, don't discuss your plan with the children. Most certainly, do not discuss your life updates. You know, whether you indirectly saying this or somehow the message when I was sent across in another way, don't 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 discuss discuss your life updates with the COVID not. That's the absolute last thing you want to do is to have them know how you even though if you feel like maybe, you know, to show them that you know you are thriving or you're moving, yeah, that, that doesn't matter. They should they you shouldn't care at that point where what they think of you. Um I mean they had a couple of years or however long you're with them to know who you are and didn't. Um, so there's no need. They don't have any, you don't need any stamp of approval for them. You don't need them to show, you, you got nothing for them at that point. That's, that, you know, you, you're indifferent, really. That's exactly what it comes down to. So they don't need to know, you know, how much, you know, you know, changes you're making in your life. You're going to school, you're doing this, you're losing weight, you're doing that. Uh, no, that's life update. Or you're dating somebody. Mm -mm. No, that that that. They don't have the privilege of knowing that information anymore. So no, you do not, uh, absolutely not, discuss your your life updates with them, or your children's life. And I want what I mean by that is maybe things that the children told you in confidence. They discuss something with you, something is bothering them, and they talk about it, or something personal for the children that they're doing. That is not that is not something you want to discover the cover narcissist because you remember what these people do with anything information that they believe that is going to be some, some kind of ammunition in the future so if there's anything um, you know the kids talk to you about in confidence or something that you're going through and you decide to uh inform the covert narcissist hey, hey look did this and this and that they are finding it away they're not going to do it the way that you treated that they're going to find this a way to use that probably unfortunately on that child when the time comes because again they're not looking at them as children these everybody's a tool you know, so they're not going to think twice about pulling whatever it is you said or the, whatever the child said to use. If it's going to get them some kind of reaction they want, it's going to get them, you know, get them to fulfill whatever agenda they have at that point or get, get or simply just to mess with the child or just to feel powerful because they do. They, they feel powerful the fact that they're able to control your emotions. You know, as a child, of course, you're not going to be able to know this and control, you know, whatever your reaction would be. So that is what they're going to thrive on because there literally is no limit. So you don't discuss whatever your child discuss with you in confidence or whatever it is. You handle it within two of you, or if you need to invite the third party, depending on whatever the conversation is. The covert narcissist is the absolute last person to um, release that information to. And the next one, guys, is um, don't discuss other people. Um, most definitely not the new supply or potential new supply. No matter how that discussion starts, where you know. Either they are trying to, it comes in as a question or it comes in as an advice or praise for you or whatever it is. Do not get into any conversation that involves discussing that people. First of all, this, it goes back to whoever it is that you're discussing. And if it's unfortunately about the, co the new supply that they are dealing with or the potential new supply that you're dealing with, they are getting, they are enjoying the fact that you're having that conversation with them, particularly if it's about the new supply. India. they're enjoying the they're having that conversation with you and that you're talking about it so don't ever insert yourself in that situation with whoever it is that they're dealing with at the moment that year or that that month. it doesn't matter don't even get it they will try to though they will try to put you in there i remember when the covert nurses over here used to send me messages about how the new supply thought my my daughter's uh 
body cream should be changed or she should use this instead of that because she's having a reaction of this and that, you know. And all this is to what? To get you to have some kind. I know what it is that he wanted me to react, but I said, oh, thank you very much. No, I'm going to stick with what we have, you know. But thank, thank you. Thank her for thinking about it, you know. So they will try to draw you in there some way, somehow, uh, to have that conversation. That is absolutely the last person you want to be discussing. Uh, with the covert narcissist, you don't discuss anybody else, quite, quite frankly, with them. Uh, no discussion with the covert narcissist, much less the new supply. So summary is, don't talk to these people. <laughs> don't talk to these people beyond what you're co-parenting with them. That's it. Don't talk to them about any other thing. No matter how they pretend to be, because you should know now that they're pretending, that everything is all well, all good. We can sit and chit-chat like friends. You were never friends. You were never friends. They don't know you enough to be your friend. You don't know them enough. To even uh to, to for them to be friends with you all right guys get a hold of your mind and everything to fall into place please like and share thank you